Hey, this is Hammer 357 Mag. Uh, this is going to be a quick look of the Kershaw Junkyard Dog 2. Oh yeah, <laughs> bada bing. There it is. Again, we're going to look at the Junkyard Dog 2, go over the specs, price point, the fit and feel, primary and secondary concepts of use, out of the box sharpness, and any final thoughts. The steel on this knife is a Sandvik 13C26. It's a stainless steel developed for knife and edge applications where sharpness and edge retention is the main focus. The Junkyard Dog 2 is made in America. The handle on this thing is a textured G10. So if you can see the texturing there. Oh, there you go. Uh, the blade length on this is three and three quarters inch, so it's a pretty long blade. The overall length is 8.625 inches, and the closed length is four and seven eighth inches. The weight on this is advertised at 5.2, and some places 5.8. I weighed it on my grand weenie scale and it came out to 5.6 ounces. This is a flipper deployment and it's manual, but it comes out of there, I would say, really well, especially if you get the timing down with flicking your wrist. It's got a locking liner for, and if you can see on that, it gets in there pretty good. It's about, I would say, 50 plus percent. And as far as retention goes, you know, it's, it holds it real well in both the open and closed position. Whoops, that deployed pretty good. Anyway, maybe that's why it's a quick one, I don't know. Anyway, you see it live here, shit happens. Uh, it's got a pocket clip, and it's just one side only the right side and it's going to be in there with tip down so there's no other uh, pocket clip position on this the blade type is a modified drop point and it's close to a spear point okay but it looks more like a modified drop point Again, it's close to a spear point. The finish on this is a stone wash. The grind is a hollow grind. Again, as far as blade play goes, it's really in there pretty good. It's pretty solid. As far as blade centering goes, You go look at that centering there. And just about right dead on, I would say. That's good. The fit and feel on this, again, deploys well. G10 handles. Uh, again, fits my hand really well. I like it. It's got some uh, jimping up here, which is. It's pretty good. It's not real sharp, but again, it it holds real well. Again, you got the nice G10 scales, and you got a really nice troil there. So again, so from that standpoint, uh, it's pretty good. It's got good uh, scales, jumping, and a good troil. I would say the primary concept of use on this and the secondary. I'm going to say the primary concept you use is EDC and the secondary is tactical combat. Um, you know, again, this is one of those knives that could go either way. And if you want a knife that's one knife that does it all, that you can EDC and use for tactical, this would be a good blade for that. 
Uh, right now, the price point for this knife is $53, which includes shipping on eBay. So let's see what the sharpness is like. Comes out of there pretty sharp. You get a rip and it doesn't do too good. Okay, let's look at the troil on this. I mean, this check out, if I can get a nice little curl on it. As you can see, it starts off nice and thin, uh, then it thickens up a little bit. It didn't. We'll try it again. It's not as sharp as some of the other US way, USA ones I've had, like the Turbulence. Anyway. That was a much better one. You kind of have to draw the knife. I guess I'm not really good at that still. Okay, let's clear this mess out here. My final thoughts on this knife? Okay, uh, I think it'll do real good for EDC and or tactical. And could do both. It's got a good steel on it. Uh, it's an American steel, or Swedish steel, but it's American made. Uh, it comes sharp out of the box. I don't think it's razor sharp. Uh, it could be sharper. Now, would I buy this again? Yes, I would. I like the feel of this. I like its dual capability. Um, and I really like the look of it. And <laughs> just look at that pocket clip. I mean, the, alone, that thing is pretty awesome. And it's about the right, you know, dual purpose blade, about 5.6 ounces. Okay. Uh, I'd like to thank you for your time. Have a great day. And remember, long live rock and roll and the American dream.